welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Mondays with Kuomba, our weekly video series bringing you the best of jazz from our stage at the Kuomba Jazz Center in downtown Santa Cruz. Thank you all for joining us this week. And this afternoon, it's our pleasure to present to you the Silvia Cuenca Quartet. Enjoy.
Hello, everyone, and welcome to Kuumbwa. And thank you so much for tuning in online. Uh, we're thrilled and honored to be playing here for you today. Uh, my name is Sylvia Cuenca. I'm originally from San Jose, and uh, I've been living in New York City since 1985. Um, but I've never forgotten my San Jose roots, and it's always great to come back to the Bay Area and connect with the incredible musicians here. And I'd like to introduce you to a few of these guys right now. On piano, from Buffalo, New York. He's played with people like Jimmy Cobb, Bobby Hutcherson, David Fathead Newman, John Faddis, Joshua Redman, and Marcus Shelby, and many others. And he leads his groups uh, in the area, and he's very much in demand in the Bay Area. Uh, Matt Clark on piano. On alto saxophone from Sydney, Australia, he's worked with Nat Adderley, Lincoln Center Orchestra, Jimmy Cobb, Joe Williams, Branford Marcellus, and so many others. He also has his own live broadcast every Sunday called Live at Five, and I've been lucky to be a part of that since last July. And um, the great Andrew Spate. And on bass, he was Art Blakey's last bassist, and he also performed with who's who of jazz, including Freddie Hubbard, uh, Benny Golson, Abdullah Ibrahim, Bobby Watson and Horizon. Recently, he performed here at Kumbua with uh, the late great drummer Ralph Peterson. And currently, he's the bassist with legendary pianist George Cables, and he leads his own groups all over the place. And we are lo very lucky to have him with him from New York, Essiet Okan Essiet. The first tune was a Cedar Walton tune called Firm Roots, and we're gonna continue with a uh, Herbie Hancock tune, favorite of mine, Driftin'. Thank you. Thank you. 
We now like to continue with a Larry Willis tune called To Wisdom the Prize. <laughs> 